Looks like we've arrived in Sumeru. Uh, is that? Considering that Amorta's sage, Nafis, refused to join this project, I'll take part in the experiment in his place. Welcome. I look forward to a fruitful collaboration. Wait, who is this guy? And what? What this guy, man? <sighs> when do we start? You seem impatient. You should know that becoming a god is far from a trivial affair. The biological transformation is a lengthy process. As such, I too would recommend that we commence as soon as possible. In the event that a successful connection is established, his body will become permanently bound to the machine, and he will be unable to move independently of it. Nothing worse than what I've been through before then, Doctor. You were the most resilient test subject I ever came across. Thanks to you, I was able to garner a great deal of information. Alas, after that, you were under orders to remain in the Abyss. We barely saw each other, and it became difficult to further refine the knowledge I had gained. Okay, once the deal is calm, what's in the Abyss like? Do the Hatuya team up with the Abyss or what? That was gracefully worded. Ever wonder what they think if they knew that nothing matters to you, apart from your crazy experiments? I suggest you speak to me in a more respectful tone, Scaramouche. The mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. The doctor again? <sighs> that was uncomfortable to watch. That person gives off a very sinister energy. You can say that again. It's normal for him to give you the creeps. He scares the bejeevers out of Paimon. <sighs> Let's move on. You're a god. Do you think I'm evil? If you accept that he is you, just as you are you, then yes, you are evil. Thank you, Nahida. Are there any differences between humans and puppets? Do you think there are any differences between your present self and your previous and future incarnations? If not, then what are the differences between humans and puppets? Whoever has tasted the joys and sorrows of life in the human realm is human. Whoever has loved and lost, cried with grief, howled with rage at the tragedy of death that eclipses the miracle of life, they are human, too. <sighs> I've seen enough of my past. If possible, I'd like to reclaim the sins that are mine to bear. No matter the consequences, I won't run from blame or punishment. Whatever I am due, let it come to pass. Can you return my memories to me? Won't that mean you'll lose your current identity? I've always believed that human lives follow a set of rules. With each person being a collection of past experiences. As a puppet living in a human world, my life is subject to the same rules. Regaining your memories means reverting completely to your previous incarnation. All the emotions that you discarded will return to you. Are you sure you want to do this? I've lived with a void in my chest my whole life. My creator didn't need me. And ever since I awoke, I've just drifted from one place to the next. So, they're gonna return back to the previous camels and not, we're not gonna have these camels. Again, I don't know what to say. Again, you guys kinda know by now how my opinion of this is. Like, I kinda kinda, kinda was, I know, I wasn't so before, but now, I hate it. I hate every moment of this. But then I met you, and I finally realized that reclaiming my missing sins might be my one opportunity to become my true self.
yeah, this is the wheel, but like, it's like you clone someone before they get, become bad, and then you transfer all the stuff they did original to the new body. And this is kind of quest, a trick question. Do you actually blame the new clone to say? All this that in the past. I don't know what, what to say. I mean, I get that this is a fictional story, but in the same time, if everyone just can get the, the chance to reset themselves and, you know, just be a new version, a good version of them to be playable, then, I don't know, this feels wrong. Even as fictional. I've always felt I have an innate tendency to yearn for something more, in a way that goes deeper than for most people. But for all my soul-searching as a Shugenja, I've never fully understood it. Looking at it now, it seems that I brought this curse upon myself. So I beg you, grant me this opportunity to gain a purpose, to change my destiny, and end my wandering. Very well. Since your mind is made up, I will return to you that which is yours. You have made your decision. Now, take this. <sighs> Set him free. A puppet? What's he doing here? It's... You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. This is... my... Is he alright? What is she... What is that doing here? Dross will be purged. That's why this won't be the end. He's back. The little Grammy is back. Unfortunately. This is Ooh. trying my patience. Have you got all your memories back now? You've got any more stupid questions? Okay. Let's see what you have. Okay, the weapon. So, yeah, he is now playable. Are you happy now, guys? That's 
That's far enough. At my command, you shall fall. The wind rises. Wait, these has the lyrics? Are you kidding me? The wind Insignificant rises. past! Feeble human! Behold! Get out of my sight. Yep, he is back. It disappeared. Did we win? What did you expect? I'd never lose to that. <sighs> There's the tone of voice again. You're definitely back to your old self. Wait, but it was you inside that thing too. What have you got to be smug about? Sorry. I'm harsh on myself and everyone else. Just the way I am. <laughs> you sound like you're concerned about me. But don't worry. Thanks to you, even if I didn't change a thing, at least I now know the truth. The memory recovery seems to have been a success. This dream has served its purpose. Come on. Let's continue this outside. No! Did you see that? Did you guys saw that for a second he was right behind us, like, or in front of us when I moved the camera? Welcome back, Traveler, Paimon, Balladeer. <sighs> it feels like we just went on a really long journey. Paimon's exhausted. <sighs> you don't like being addressed by that name? It's fine. But I was just thinking, I should probably change it. Oh, don't tell me this is the moment I get to name him because I may not sure what to name him because I hate this character. I don't want to name him. After learning about everything the doctor did, there's no way I can carry on using a name connected to him. I'm not planning on returning to the Fatui, and they wouldn't take me back anyway. Recent events will have affected a lot of people, and they might not even remember who the sixth is. So, you're quitting the Fatui for good? So wait, if he's normal the six, then that means there was a, there's gonna be another one. To be honest, I cannot wait to see if they're gonna find actually placement for the Fatui in some shape or form. <sighs> it's like you said, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Everything may look futile, but it wasn't completely meaningless. At least I made a lot of people forget about me. But that doesn't mean your own past has disappeared. Of course. And your main goal, for which you gave up everything you had, you weren't able to achieve it. I hope you can see and understand that. Changing the world, changing the past, changing the fates of other people, these are not simple things to accomplish. 
What you are looking for is complete annihilation. But this is just a fantasy. Even if the Balladier is removed from existence, the world will not heed your will. Indeed. <laughs> How ridiculous. Do you regret doing all that when you've gotten so little in return? Even if I'm completely worthless, there's nothing in the world worth regretting. Lesser Lord Kusanali, you purposely left that information in Nermansol, didn't you? Yes, and I took pains to make sure that you'd acquire that information naturally. Why would you go to such lengths? You trying to win me over too? In all honesty, your past experiences have made you a useful asset to Samaru and to me. Winning you over was indeed a part of my plan. But before that, I wanted to tell you the truth about your past. If all I wanted to do was use you, then I'd be no different from the doctor. Very clever. I guess you could say that's one of my virtues. Utility to others is what gives me worth. So if embracing my sins is what it takes to make me useful again, so be it. Oh, right. I almost forgot. You're the good guys. You're into justice and all that. Sorry if I have a slightly different perspective on things, but I don't feel like I've been duped. The wisest leaders are fated to end up with the best helpers. I can live with that. I'm glad you're able to think of it in that way. Traveler, in the future, I'll continue to search Ermansoul more deeply and see what secrets can be uncovered. Including the beginning of your twin's journey recorded in Ermansoul. What exactly happened before and after that point? I want to know as well. I will try. Traveler. Oh, no, I'm not paying for that take again. After I dove into the information torrent in Ermansoul, why did you go to Inazuma? So that's how you found out whose fate had changed. And how. Well, whatever your reasons, you did me a favor. And I'll do everything I can to pay it back. Borrowing and returning are the only real relationships between individuals. I'll balance the books one day. Don't you worry. That's not true. A relationship between two people is not simply a ledger that can be reset to zero. I think deep down you realize this. People who show up in your life don't just evaporate like water drops and leave nothing behind. There is no such thing as balancing the books. Some things in this world can never be brought back, and they can never be changed, which is why there is emotion in the human world. Are you sure about that? Because we brought him back, and we changed about the fate of Ruka Davata. So that's why it's kind of like. And I hope this is the only case this is going to happen because, again, I'm really not a fan of this quest. This is like my, my, my rage at full, full force. Everything that you feel is real and lasting, and whatever is missing in you will not be made whole. To be human is to live with imperfections. You can choose whether or not you want to be human. Hmm. But humans can't live without a heart, can they? Anyway, I gave up trying to become a human a long time ago. You understand what pain is perfectly well, even without a heart. You're just bearing your feelings. The past is set in stone, but you can keep moving on. And the longer your future lasts, the shorter your past will become, until one day, it is but a tiny fraction of your life. Sounds like you've got a future planned out for me. So do now people remember the Baladir or...? Everything's ended up being pretty darn complicated. Paimon doesn't even know where to start, but... 
The most important thing now is that you need to follow Nahida. Otherwise, all our efforts will have been for nothing. You're not wrong about that. Very complicated. I don't know why, but I feel this is gonna become like Kingdom Hearts. At least I don't need to play other games, and just gonna become complicated in this one area. Then I guess I'll be helping you from behind the scenes from now on. I'm glad that you've accepted our proposal. Why don't you choose a new name to celebrate? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Paima wants to pick an ugly nickname for you, too! Why? Because... Because... Paima still doesn't like you that much! <laughs> Then I hope we don't see much of each other in the future. A name is life's first gift. You didn't say it out loud, but I know that's what you're thinking. <sighs> the Traveler and Paimon have helped you a lot. If you can't decide on a new name, maybe you can ask them for ideas. I mean, I can only see people name Skarmos in all kinds of names, and... I can imagine the next week they're gonna regret it naming that. No! Paimon only does nicknames! If it's a serious name you're after, it's all yours. Uh, have you got anything? His name for now on is gonna be... Van Dante. Is a wonder, but in Italian. Are you sure? Oh, all right, if you say so. Now you have a name of your own. What about a nickname? Are you done yet? Oh, a nickname from Paimon? I can't wait to hear. And I wonder, you, do I gonna remember this name when I gonna see him again in the game? Why did I just say, see him again in the game? Why did that feel so long to say? Take your time. I don't need to see you again until you've thought of one. To be honest, are we gonna re... Because I'm not so... I mean, you know how the characters treat us. They call us the traveler, although the text say otherwise. So I think we're still gonna call him otherwise for some reason. I don't know. Everyone who manipulated me and made me suffer will have to pay the price. You mean the Fatui? The doctor, at least. Now that your stance has changed, I believe your future path will change accordingly. But it won't be immediate. You still need some time to compose yourself. Hmm. One more thing. There are still some descendants of the Raiden Gokuden living in Inazuma. Some of them know. Well, they ought to know about the connection between Raiden Gokuden and myself. I don't plan to leave Sumeru for the time being. If you see them in Inazuma, please tell them that I was the one responsible for the Raiden Gokuden's downfall. Even though the events have been erased from the world, they still deserve to know the truth. I see. That is up to you. Huh? But if we do that, then... It's fine. Let them stab their blades into my chest if they so desire. Maybe that's how it always should have been. <laughs> no nonsense. I like it. All right, let's call it a day. Goodbye, wise deity. 
And you too. He's gone! What he went through today would have been like living an entire lifetime in an instant. He'll need some time to calm down. Yeah, true. But even so, after everything that's happened, he doesn't seem quite as fierce anymore. So we can finally go eat? Paimon is starving. Thank you both. I hope you will find somewhere nice to go and relax for a while. Whew, it's about time we had a break. As soon as you stop, all the tiredness and hunger comes rushing back. Break it while they were cleaning the room or something? But Paimon doesn't remember there being a cleaner. Huh, Paimon doesn't remember she actually was the one that break it. You sound lost and confused. Who is this? Okay, this is a new voice. It's female. I know why you are troubled. Any who knew of this would find their mind overwhelmed. Okay, my bitch even goes for the heaven and principle or the fountain icon. Or maybe a third one, I don't know. Huh? Is there someone here talking to us? Unfortunately, the fate of Tevat cannot easily be changed. Perhaps a god may have a slim chance. But for anyone else... <sighs> Who can say? When a small animal runs into a tree trunk, though the tree may sway, it is not displaced. The same is true of fate. Like a vase that falls to the ground, whether it is broken by a cat or by a bird, the result is still a broken vase, is it not? Uh, who are you? How do you know about all this? History does not change easily, but human hearts can. Believe your own eyes. Only that which you see is true. What is unseen is but an illusion. The voice has disappeared. Okay, this is... Wait, do the others don't they... Don't... Are not affected by the change that happens? Maybe. And who the heck was that? And what were they doing coming out of nowhere and saying all that scary stuff? Ugh. <sighs> anyway, that face is still lying there broken on the ground. Should Paimon go get someone to clean it up? It feels wrong just leaving it there. Just a moment, Paimon will be right back.
man this was something and yeah i'm really not a fan of this i'm really not Yeah, I'm retired, and I have to close up. See you guys in the next episode. Aloha.